from Floytech. I welcome you to another demonstration. Today we want to talk about the seven waveforms that PL Squared has to offer. So we want to start with waveform number one. Square wave. We change the parts with until we have a needle. Very basic, every analog synth can do this. Now we want to look at waveform number two. We have a waveform that consists of two elements. There's a basic waveform and an octave waveform. So the basic one is this. And you can see we can change the pulse width only up to 25%. So there's the second element, which is the octave. And if I take out the, the first one, you only see the octave. Again, maximum 25%. Waveforms 3 and 4 are somewhat special as those have a middle position. With waveform number 3 it looks like this. And now you can use the pulse width number 1 to change it like that. So up, middle, down. And the second one you change the other side. Basically, you build your waveforms by changing the pulse width control. Again, you can always use the pulse width 1 and 2 controller, which changes both at the same time. Waveform number 4. You can change this side with pulse width number 1 the other side with pulse width number two. Again, if we change both at the same time, it looks like this. Square wave. Waveform five and six came with firmware version two. Those add like frequencies above the octave. When I use the pulse with 1 and 2 controller, I modulate both at the same time. Waveform number 6 is very similar to waveform number 5, but instead of the fifth of the octave, we use the octave of the octave. So it looks like this. Here's the basic waveform and here's the other one. And with the Tatsworth 1 and 2 controller I can modulate both at the same time. Waveform 7 is the most fancy one and you will love it. Pulse width number 1 in waveform number 7. And the second one also changes the tuning. I take it one octave higher. What makes the PL squared special is it doesn't use any wavetables or software generated waveforms. It only uses analog pulse waves. There's one more thing that came with firmware version 2. We also modified the possibilities of waveform number 1. You remember this was waveform number 1, very basic pulse. Very basic pulse with control like every synth can do it. 
Now with firmware version 2, we added the ability to change every second one individually by using Pulse with controller 1 and Pulse with controller 2. It looks like this. So even with waveform number 1, you can build very individual waveforms now. As always, thank you for watching this video about the PL Squared and its 7 waveforms. Have fun with it, give it to all your friends. See you soon. Your body is so pretty like a jailer from the city, like a Haley in the Barry. Oh my baby, got a pair of this and another one to fit. I wanna touch, feel free.